Yeah, that's funny as hell. Hey, tell Evan I said I ain't getting in the goddamn comment section. If he wants me on, he can put me on. But uh, I just went my best time today, 1.50, 60 foot time. Chris Tart's out here killing motherfuckers out the hole. If he wants to goddamn dig, he can come goddamn dig, motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> I will, I, hey, listen, I will put a fucking rope on my tail light and put one on his fucking headlights and I promise you he will not put no fucking slack in it. Do you want me to come on there and, and talk shit to him right now and tell him that? A few moments later. Hey, hey, you know my first comment was I'll put a rope on my tail light and one on your headlight and I promise you you will not put no goddamn slack in that motherfucker. You know what I mean? That was funny as hell. <laughs> Hey, motherfucker, what's up? Hey, that was kind of funny, though, wasn't it? He seen when I was in them goddamn comments, he was just like, oh, hell, oh, shit, there's Chris Tart. And then all of a sudden, everything changed right then. He was like, oh, hell. <laughs> that was kind of funny, though, man. That really was kind of funny. Hey, I appreciate that, though, man. Um, yeah, hey, I even dropped my number off. I said, motherfucker, call me, goddamn it. Get me on. Let's do this thing. Shit. Motherfucker, hey, listen, I got more shit to say than he does, hell. Let's get it going on. Listen, dude, that was so fucking funny. When I, when I, when I was watching him, listen, man, when I was watching him, and all of a sudden he was like, oh, shit, Chris Tart's here. I was like, oh, motherfucker, got your ass, didn't I? <laughs> hey, but listen now, I ain't lying now. I done heard my name in them damn podcast three times. Now I said, listen, motherfucker, I'm here on the fourth one. What's up? Hey, I even did some dumb shit. I dropped my number on there. I said, call me, goddammit. And I left my number publicly. I said, get me on, goddamn. I don't give a fuck who tries to scam me, call me, or whatever. I'll hang up on your goddamn ass. But listen, I wanted him to call me right then. But he didn't, because guess what? Motherfucker, I called his bluff, didn't I? Did I not? You know what's funny is EJR has his own little thing going on, his own click and shit. But listen, when Chris Tart shows up, I also can, you know, do the do and keep it stay in Vegas. I talk my shit too, goddammit, and we can go at it. But it's like uh, Listen, man, he, he don't he don't fucking intimidate me one bit. What I got to do is offer him something, but he, he just don't want to listen. Listen, I even talked to Ricky the other day, and Ricky Gasson told me, he said, listen, Evan just thinks he's Mr. Kawasaki now, and, and if you have something to say or offer him, he's not going to listen to you He because he thinks he's the king. Listen, now, I ain't going to lie to you. He done blocked me on everything. Everything he's done blocked me because if you disagree with him or you argue with him, he's just going to run away like a scared little girl. You know what was funny is, it, it, the thing about that YouTube shit is like, it's kind of got a delay. Now, once I put something there, then he'll see it later, and then he'll be like, oh, oh, Chris Tart's here. Oh, shit. You know, he's like, oh, hell. Or then he'll see something, and, and then he'll read something and say, oh, Chris Tart's like Tiger King. Ha, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's kind of like, Evan, Evan keeps pushing it away, pushing it away. Oh, let's don't talk about Chris Tart. Let, hey, let's don't do this. Listen, man, I'm just here to fucking shoot the shit, you know, do the do, keep staying in Vegas, and, and make everybody fast and have fun. But Evan, now listen, Evan does not want you to say something better than him or be, or be better. He always wants to be on top. Even Ricky told me that. But listen, I love Evan, and I'm, listen, I get on Evan's nerves. Evan don't get on mine, is what I mean. It's like, I, I feel like I'm poking the bear, but he don't want to talk to me. It's crazy, though, but it's true. Yeah, man, you know, the funny thing is, though, brother, it's like, man, I've been hearing my name circulate in them, you know, last three podcasts and shit like this, this, that, and the other, but hell. He, he said, oh, I got, oh, he's my GP tech wheels, this, that, no. I said, listen, motherfucker, hey. I'm the one that bought the first, very first set of GP Tech wheels that was ever supposed to come to the United States. But guess who bought them? Evan did. You know what? Evan got my wheels because I canceled that order because Brock's son told me. he Brock's son even begged me not to cancel my order. I said, no, I'm not. I said, listen, it's going to be a fucking year before I get them. No, it, it's true. Actually, it's been 10 months. 
But I got Krups, man. Fuck that. I mean, yeah, Evan has lighter wheels now, but I mean, I don't give a fuck. There's only like two or three ounces difference, maybe a pound, but I don't care. Man, I was ready to ride and race. I, I wasn't waiting a fucking year on them goddamn GP Tech wheels. Evan knows that there was my wheels on his bike. Listen, motherfuckers don't believe me. I still got the email saved. Brock told me. Brock Davidson, you know, Brock's performance. Congratulations, Chris Tart. You just bought the first set of GP Tech wheels coming to America and blah, blah, blah. This, not, no, blah, blah. No, you didn't. There's no email that says that. <sighs> oh. Well, guess what? I had to wait a month or two. Then they said it was going to be a couple months. Then they said it was going to be four months. I said, no, fuck this. Cancel that goddamn order. Cancel the order. I'm getting me some crups. I know they're a little bit heavier, but I don't care. I'm ready to ride. And then Brock's son called me and said, Chris, please don't cancel that order. Then I promise you right now, two days later, two days later, Brock's son called me and said, Chris, guess who just bought them wheels you canceled on? I said, who? He said, Evan did. I said, God damn, really? Ha, ha, ha. Hey, and somebody just tried to call me out in the comments section and say, Evan ordered them a year ago. I'm like, what the fuck, Evan, motherfucker? Yeah, them was Chris Tark's wheels he's got on his bike, but I canceled on that shit. Evan wants to talk to me. He didn't even get me on live, so fuck him. I was there ready. You know what I mean? I ain't bullshitting, man. God damn. I mean, I don't know how many times I can say this, I've done heard my name three or four times on these shows. Now, I offered him the opportunity to get me on. Then he the motherfucker the one that backed in the corner and didn't allow me on. So that's what I mean. Fuck him. I mean, I don't personally say fuck. I don't personally dislike him, but I'm just like, fuck him then. He don't want me on the show, then fuck him. And you guys want to listen to three to four hours of that? I have no words for that. And it's been like eight minutes. <laughs>